over to our dream Gathered in my name I will be with you The Lord proclaim Come brothers, come sisters Gather around the Lord Come brothers, come sisters Share his holy he will bring us happiness and He will bring us peace His goodness is eternal and His wonder proceeds Ever to our trees I'm gathered in my name I will be with you, the Lord Let us offer this Mass for the good health of Paul and Irene. <coughs> Let us begin our celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends in Christ, to celebrate these mysteries in a worthy manner, let us ask God's pardon and mercy for our shortcomings. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Chapter 6, verses 12 to 18. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Chapter 6, verses 12 to 18. Let not sin, therefore, reign in your mortal bodies to make you obey their passions. Do not yield your members to sin as instruments of wickedness by ill yourselves to God as men who have been brought from death to life and your members to God as instruments of righteousness. For sin will have no dominion over you since you are not under law but under grace. What then? Are we to sin because we are not under law but under grace? By no means. Do you not know that if you yield yourselves to anyone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one whom you obey, either of sin, which leads to death, or of obedience, which leads to righteousness. But thanks be to God that you who were once slaves of sin have become obedient from the heart to the standard of teaching to which you were committed and having been set free from sin have become slaves of righteousness. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Your response shall be, Our help is in the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. If the Lord had not been on our side, this is Israel's song. If the Lord had not been on our side, when man rose against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their anger was kindled. Your response, Our help is in the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Our life like a bird has escaped from the snare of the fowler. Indeed, the snare had been broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Your response, Our help is in the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 12, verses 39 to 48. Jesus said to his disciples, Know this, that if the householder had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would have been awake and would not have left his house to be broken into. He also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an, un at an hour you do not expect. Peter said, Lord, are you telling this parable only for us or for all? And the Lord said, Who then is the faithful and wise steward? whom his master will set over his household to give them their portion of food at the proper time. Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he comes, will find so doing. Truly, I tell you, he will set him over all his possessions. But if that servant says to himself, My master is delayed in coming, and begins to beat the men servants and the maid servants and to eat and drink and get drunk the master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him and at an hour he does not know and will punish him and put him with the unfaithful and that servant who knew his master's will but did not make ready or act according to his will, shall receive a severe beating. But he who did not know and did what deserved a beating shall receive a light beating. 
everyone to whom much is given of him will much be required and of him to whom men commit much they, they will demand the more the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus once two young men were pulling a cart filled with lot of wood and as they were pulling the cart and going their way an elderly person saw them with much great difficulty they were pulling the cart full of wood and the man thought to himself let me put a hand and help these two young men in pulling the cart and he started to pull the cart along with the young men and as they were going their way one of those young men just left his hand from the cart he found a small tin on the way and he took that one and started playing with that tin and he forgot to pull the cart and help them and they were going on pulling the cart and moving on their way after some time the other young man too he found a stick on the way and he took that stick started beating on the cart and left the cart without pulling and he started playing and only the elderly person who came to help them was pulling the cart by himself and after some time the elderly person thought to himself i am not a substitute i am only a helper to these young men without any responsibility these two young men left the cart and the whole burden is on me i am not going to pull it any more i am only an helper not a substitute thinking for himself he left the cart and he stopped pulling it and went on his way the similar thing today in the first reading st paul is beautifully telling to every one of us st paul is asking every one of us god the almighty with his grace and blessing and love has freed every one of us from sin and we need to be always far away from sin if we are going to be very disobedient to god the almighty we will embrace sin and sin will give us death paul is asking don't go against god but rather with the grace which god has given you go forward and be far away from sin and dear friends in christ we need to be far away from sin with the help of the grace of god the almighty which means st paul is asking every one of us we need to cooperate with god in overcoming sinfulness in our life with the help of the grace we cannot really achieve salvation only by ourselves or only god cannot give us salvation by himself but rather in order to experience a salvation we need to have the team work god on one side and we on the other side and together we need to work with the help of the grace of god and then only we will be eradicating the sinfulness from our lives and then we will be able to achieve the salvation and be in the presence of god god is always trying to help us but it is we who have to really cooperate with god in order to experience the salvation and that's why today in the gospel reading jesus christ is asking every one of us to experience the freedom and to be the responsible christians what is this responsibility we need to take 
Responsibility is we need to be answerable, accountability. And do we have the accountability? Are we answerable to all the things what are happening in our day to day life? Are we really enjoying the freedom which God the Almighty has given to us? Do we take the responsibility in our life as a followers of Christ? Most of the time, dear friends in Christ, we fail to take the responsibility. We are not responsible Christians so many times in our lives. We are not answerable to the things what are happening in our lives and in the lives of our neighbor. We are not able to be accountable. And but today, Christ our Savior is asking every one of us, we need to be the responsible Christians. We need to be answerable and accountable. And then only we will be able to cooperate with God the Almighty. And then we will be eradicating the sinfulness. We need to be vigilant. We need to be awake. The worldly things in our day-to-day -day life are making our lives so much miserable because they are attracting us. When we are attracted to the worldly things, we are not able to be the responsible Christians. We fail to cooperate with God. We fail to understand the grace what he had given us. And that's why we are sinning and we are experiencing the darkness, experiencing suffering in our lives. So dear friends in Christ, in order to embrace this responsibility, in order to be answerable and accountable, we need to have these three important qualities in our lives. Simplicity, patience and compassion. Simplicity, patience and compassion will help us to understand the will of God in our lives, will help us to recognize the grace what he is bestowing and will help us to experience freedom and at the same time to be responsible Christians. And with all these things, we will be able to cooperate with God and eradicate sinfulness and embrace salvation in our lives. So dear friends in Christ, let us ask the Almighty God to give us these three important virtues. Simplicity, patience and compassion and with this we may be the responsible christians in our lives let us ask the almighty god to give us his grace and blessings fill us with the holy spirit so that we may walk in our life journey as true responsible christians spreading the kingdom of god amen Let us put forward our prayers and petitions to God the Almighty. God our loving Father, we ask you to bless our Holy Father, bishops, priests and religious. Fill them with your grace. May they help every individual and faithful to be far away from sinfulness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, we ask you to bless the entire humanity and we plead you to have compassion on every one of us. Drive away this coronavirus and fill every human person with good health and happiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we ask you to receive the intentions of all the people who offer this Mass. And in your compassion, bless them abundantly with good health and give them the grace sufficiently. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, we ask you to bless all the Divyavani TV channel donors. May they experience your protection and care. 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us all pause for a while and pray for our special intentions. God, our loving Father, receive our prayers and petitions, fill us with your grace, and help us to be free and responsible Christians, and may we always spread your kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, fill us with your grace, and as we put forward our prayers and petitions, Protect us and lead us in each and every step that we take. And may we always be a person of simplicity, having patience and compassion. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and our good of all his holy church grant us Lord we pray a sincere respect for your gifts that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as one with voice we acclaim.
you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took blood and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying Take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death lord Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our pope Anthony our bishop and all the clergy Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever
Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us your peace Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the words, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray grant o lord we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through christ our lord amen Prayer to Saint Joseph Hail guardian of the redeemer spouse of the blessed virgin mary to you god entrusted his only son in you mary placed her trust with you christ to become man blessed joseph to us to show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life obtain for us grace mercy and courage and defend us from every evil amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen go forth the mass is ended thanks be to god